Hey everyone, it's Kimberly with I Dream A Lot. I am back. <laughs> I have a California thrift haul for you. So if you're new here, I am a part-time <clears throat> reseller. I keep looking over there because I was looking at my neighbor. <laughs> I'm doing just natural lighting. Um, I just wanted to try something different. So right behind this is um, a big window. Anyway, I digress. I am a part-time reseller in West Virginia. I'm from California, so obviously I travel home as often as I can. And when I'm there, I love to go thrifting. This trip, um, I didn't, I was just busy with other things and um, like my grandfather's 100th birthday. Yes, we had an amazing celebration for him and it was, yeah, it was perfect. Um, but yeah, a lot of family stuff going on. And so I only thrifted. So when I was in Orange County, I went to San Clemente on a Sunday and only two stores were open. And one of my best friends met me down there. So we were like socializing. And so I wasn't really focused. And um, so I got a few things there, but only two of the several stores that are there were open. And I usually have good luck there. I got some amazing things there last year. So um, when I'm back in December, I will go there on a Saturday or Friday or something when all the stores are open. Um, so I went there and then I went to one other thrift store um, in South Orange County, just like a quick um, kind of like, oh, we're going to the grocery store, let's run in this store. But it was more um, like upscale, kind of almost like consignment type shop. So the prices were just way too high. Um, good deals if you're just shopping for yourself, but way too high for thrift store uh, or for flipping items. Then I went up to my mom's, um, which is um, like, I guess that would be considered like northeast of San Diego, um, close to Temecula, um, but up the hill. So it's a very rural area. Um, one day we went down to Palm Desert, which is great, um, but we didn't spend a lot of time and what was it? Yeah. Oh, one of my favorite thrift stores there, there's like new management or something like at the highest level, um, for those chain of stores and oh my gosh, their prices were <laughs> like triple what they were last year. So that made it really difficult, um, but I did find a few items. Then on, let's see, just this past Saturday, because I flew out Saturday night, um, Saturday, my sister and I went to just go to the store and right across the street at this community center in my mom's area was like a flea market. And I got a few items there. So that's kind of where I got my items. So it wasn't a major thrifting trip at all. Um, and yeah, it is what it is. That's totally fine. And my next trip, possibly, I am going to check out the bins in San Bernardino because I'll be in Vegas and I'm getting a rental and then driving to my mom's. It's just like a three hour drive. And so I'm going to stop in San Bernardino to go to those bins. And then hopefully another time I can check out the bins in Escondido. Um, yeah, hopefully with my sister. I don't know if she's going to like that, but she'll let me know. <laughs> um, anyway, sorry, the light is weird. It's just natural light. And so I'm seeing in the camera, it's making me look kind of weird, but who cares? Whatever. Um, let, I took some notes. Let me grab that notepad. Um, I will be out of the frame for a minute, guys. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, oh, and then I got a few free items, um, from family. So, 
I, and I included those. So we are going to talk about, oh, I, did I do the number of items or I just calculated that in my head? <laughs> Let me see. Okay, so my average cost of goods. So I included everything and in the free items that I got from family um, with everything. So this is my California um, thrift haul. We'll just call it a thrift haul, even though some of the items were given to me by family. Average cost of goods is $3.39. I will tell you how much I paid for each item though, as I'm showing you those items and kind of explain why I paid up for certain items. Um, I kind of went through and just did like a very um, quick kind of, um, guesstimate of how much I think I will get for each of these items. So when I did that, on the low end, I should get, <clears throat> sell these items for about $570. And that's on the low end. I spent a total of $78. So that's about eight times my money. I want to get to at least 10 times my money because then after fees and everything, you're around seven or eight times your money. So, but this is fine. I mean, I wasn't going to California to thrift. So, so I know some resellers will take trips to certain places, specifically a thrifting trip. That was not this. I was there to spend time with family and I kind of fit in a couple quick thrifting um, stops along the way. Um, so yeah, there we are. So let's get into the haul. All right, so the first items I'm going to go ahead and talk about are the items that I got for free. And this will be easy because they're basically all the same. So these are L.L. Bean um, cords, so men's cords. So these um, are a great seller. They're, they don't go for huge money or anything, but they have a pretty good sell-through rate. Um, these are all in like perfect condition, no stains, nothing like that. One of them was even new with tag. So most of them, I have four pair. Three pair are the standard fit. And then this first pair is the classic fit. They are a size 36, 30. So just a tan, 36, 30. Um, they're just a straight leg um, pockets. And then that's the back. And then here is the inside information. So the tag and sizing and all that. So when I calculated what I would be selling all of this stuff for, I just did low end, so $20. But these will get listed for $34.99. Um, and then best offer. But I just calculated $20. Um, next, same thing, and these are like a gray, and these are the standard fit. So let me show you the inside tag for that. And these again are 3630. So there's the standard and then the sizing. So yeah, they're just kind of like, you know, jeans, but they're cords. So just kind of a nice relaxed fit. Those are gray. Then this is a really nice color. I love this color. It's kind of like an indigo blue. It's really pretty. And these again are the standard fit. I don't need to show you the tag because it's just the same. Very nice condition. Very nice. These have all been laundered, so they're ready to go. And then the last pair is, I think these were a slight, yeah, these are a 35 waist and then um, 30 inch and seam. And these are just like a brown, like tan, kind of like a rust brown. And these were new with tag, um, but I had to wash them. Um, so, yeah. But so I will I will just indicate that they were new with tags, but they were washed, um, never worn, everything, you know, no issues. So again, I'll probably end up getting closer to 25 for 30 for each of these, maybe 25, but I calculated 20. So 
and those were all free so that was great and they have a very good sell-through rate um people search those out they're like um at llb now they're like 80 dollars. so all right next i'm going to show you some items that i got at the flea market um i'm going to show you three pairs of boots so i got these all at the same little um like from the same buyer or seller and she wanted five dollars a pair and i had so i was interested in three boots and she gave me a deal and sold them to me for twelve dollars so basically each of these boots were three dollars so great price so this first pair is a very nice suede um tall like knee high not over the knee but just knee high boots with this nice like stacked heel um they're like a pointed toe or like an almond shaped toe and these are like a um like a tan like kind of khaki tan color very neutral color super nice quality um suede and then they have an in inside uh zip and these are Dolce Vita, and they are the Rudy, R-U-D-Y, made in Brazil, and they're size seven and a half. So I am going to be trying these on, and if I like the way they fit, I'm keeping them, because these are just, and I have a boot similar to this, but they're a little higher up on the knee, and they're kind of like a slouchy style. This, to me, is just more classic, like never go out of style. You could see someone wearing these in the 70s and you could see them wearing them today. So I'm gonna try them on. If I like them, I'm keeping them. If for some reason they don't fit right, um, I will get at least $40 for these. Yeah, very nice, no flaws. Next boot is a pair of fry booties these are the judith so there's your little marking there branding and they're um double zip so they have a zip on the inside and then zip on the outside um just kind of a little low stacked heel little almond toe these are a size seven um, and you know, good condition, nothing, nothing wrong with them. Just minor creasing from wear, but very nice. Probably get about, um, on the low end 30, but could get 40, but I'm thinking more like $30. But when I calculated, I think I calculated, um, 25 for these. And then the last pair of boots are, um, <clears throat> these were Vince Camuto. These are like in pristine condition. These are a suede. Um, again, just kind of that nice um, stacked heel, um, kind of angular, right? And these are like a pointed toe. Um, <clears throat> I see one little mark there, huh? I think that'll just come off with a suede brush, but I mean, it's really no big deal. It, I mean, in my opinion, and then they have like this little um, back zip and then this kind of woven um, detail. <clears throat> and I believe, oh, and then here's the bottom. They're a size eight. Yeah, so very good condition. Again, I mean, $4. So yeah, these will go for at least, again, I calculated at the low end of 25, but these should go for at least 30. All those boots are over $100 so if you go buy them at the store and they're all in really good condition. All right, this is another item that I got at the flea market and they're North Face. Um, just a pair of like outdoor kind of hiking pants. Um, I, let me see if they have a kind of where you can cuff. Yeah, so you can roll them up and then um, you go through like this little fabric loop there and then you can button them. So you can make them shorter, uh, more like a capri length. There's the back. They're gray. 
they have like a zippered pocket there. There's the north face there. Very good condition, nothing wrong. They're a size six. I'm gonna try these on and see if they fit. I don't have any pants like this, like really true like outdoor kind of pants. And I feel like I need something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try those on. But if not, they'll go for at least 20. All right, next, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that also at my mom's on Friday, we went to a like community, um, like annual yard sale. They have it every year and the prices were really fair, like really good, but there wasn't a lot of great stuff. But I'm gonna show you some of those items. So this is just Harley Davidson. It's not like vintage. It's not anything great. The tag's been cut out, but I thought the back of this was cool. So it's Folsom. I don't know if it has, yeah, isn't that Folsom Prison on the back? Yeah. So Folsom Prison, if you're not familiar, look it up. Um, Johnny Cash performed there. Um, obviously many years ago, but yeah, I thought because of the Folsom that it might do well. So I need to look that up. I haven't looked it up. Um, so when I calculated, I think I did like 15 or 20. All right, next is, and again, I haven't comped any of this, Sportex Apparel 2X. It's made in USA. There's kind of the information. Um, but I got this because of the graphic. So isn't that cool? Um, I don't know. And then I think, is there an artist? Oh, Edge, Edge of the Cedars State Park Museum. So I don't know where that's located, if that's like New Mexico. Um, and then it has some other information on the on the bottom, I can't quite make out. So I need to get my magnifying glass. Um, but yeah, I think the size 2X and that graphic, um, you know, I'm thinking $20 and it's made in USA. Um, not sure if it's vintage, it's not single stitch or anything. Um, but I will look into that and see what it goes for. Next is this Lily, Little Lily <laughs> Pulitzer, um, just little cotton um, scarf, but then it has Ford. So I guess Ford must have done something, um, some sort of promotion. And, uh, oh, and it has, oh, it has the um, breast cancer awareness, like pink ribbon. Um, yeah, and then there's the lily. So I'll look that up. <clears throat> Again, I'm not expecting a lot, but it was a dollar at that flea market. Oh, has a date, 2004, right in there. So yeah, that should be pretty easy to look up with all that information on the scarf. So maybe $20, I don't know, but I think I calculated 10 on that. Um, again, this is from the uh, community yard sale. This is a women's large uh, marmot. There's the the tag, and it's just a gray long sleeve uh, top. Has a few buttons. Has um, a roll tab sleeve if you want to fold up the sleeve and then you know tab it. <laughs> Nothing wrong with this, just, you know, kind of outdoor athleisure um, wear. So I'm thinking uh, 15 or $20 for that. It could go for more, but I'm trying to just kind of give you guys like the low end of things. Um, again, this was a dollar. This is REI. It's a size large. There's I do well with REI, I don't find it a lot, but this is just like a little crop rust color, um, little like sports top. It's not a sports bra, so you'd have to wear a bra under this. Well, you don't have to, you can do whatever you want, but if you're using it for um, exercise or anything, 
I'm just saying it doesn't have the built in. So it's just a tank top. Um, so I'm thinking, you know, 10 or 15 on that. Um, really nice though. Well made. See the inside there. It's very well made. So it could go for 20. I don't know. Next is a Chico's. This is really pretty. This is a size three and I think size three is XXL. I, um, so I think it's a size 18, but I'm not positive. I have, I, as much Chico's as I buy and sell, I should know this by memory. Um, but so pretty, like a really pretty, like swim cover, um, with that like gradient, like different blues so pretty. I think I know someone who will like this, but it might be too big, but nice like tunic length um, swim cover. So very stretchy. Yeah. So that should go for, I usually sell my Chico's just kind of basic tops like this for 25. Um, but it could be more. It's a three. It's a size three. So it's a little larger. Let's see. I'm sure it's just 100% um, nylon. Yeah, it's very nice. It's in perfect condition. Um, yeah, very nice. So at least probably 25 on that. But I may have to sit on that a while because it's, you know, summer. A s more summer kind of garment this is really nice this is a maxi dress it's tommy bahama this was two dollars this was from the community flea market um that my sister and i stopped at on saturday morning and it's very like jersey knit stretchy v-neck it's a maroon like burgundy and then on the sides kind of at like where your hip starts it has like this lace up detail with the gold um and it has branding on the gold very like michael kors kind of vibes but um yeah and then ah, and then it slits so very flattering very pretty should go for about 40 dollars so I'll list it for $44.99, our best offer, and I will get between $35 and $40 for that. Oh, this was a good find. Now, this was at, I don't remember if this was Goodwill or um, Angel View in Palm Desert, but this is Vintage Juicy Couture in a size extra large. And it's the velvet or like terry um, cloth um, track pants with the really like wide leg. So those go between $50 and $75. And these are in very good condition. There are no stains, no rips, no tears, just no issues with these. Um, it would be even better if it had bling, like juicy on the butt, but because it does have the pockets and because it has the wide, wide bottom, um, those will do well. So yeah, and they're an extra large. So yeah, that was a great find. I spent $9, so, but it'll be worth it. Now this top was from the community yard sale. So this was um, $1 and it's 100% linen. It's canard. It's a size small. Somebody cut the tag, but the size is still there and the 100% linen. It's very nice. It's like this oatmeal color. Really pretty and it has the roll tab sleeves. Um, it has some striping detail has like the side vents. I mean, just so like beachy, boho, lag and look, pristine condition. Now, if this was an extra large, oh, it would be even better. But yeah, I'll definitely get at least 25 for that. Very pretty, great find. This was $2 at the community yard sale. It's soft surroundings and it's 100% linen. 
So there's the tag there. And it has that like lace detail on the back, like back neck. And then like a little, just very minor little puff sleeve with like the elastic. Um, and then some little like almost like eyelet detail on the sleeve. And then it buttons down and it has kind of a tiered, um, tiered look to it with like the crochet at the bottom. And it's a tunic length. And let's see, what size did I say? Large, so it's a large, women's large top, tunic length. Very cute. So that will go probably at least 30, could go for 35 or 40. I'll have to do a comp on that, but definitely um, right around that $30 mark. Next, I actually got these for me and they were just too big. They were long, they just, and I have this, they're offline by Aerie. They're size, oh, no wonder. Size small, long. That's why, because I'm like, I have these and they fit great. That's why I bought them. Um, but they're a size long. I didn't catch that. So there's, um, these are in pristine condition. Um, so I'll definitely get at least 20 or 25. They don't sell for a lot, but they have kind of that, um, like, I don't know what you call that. It's like black, but almost like, uh, the word is escaping me. Somebody help me and leave a comment. It's kind of like that black gunmetal, um, almost latex looking, but not. Um, so, yeah, those... Oops, something on there. I don't know. It's just like flaking off. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll get at least 20 or 25 for those. All right. A uh, couple more items. This was from this. Where? Oh, this was one of the thrift stores in San Clemente. And it's Good American. I paid $8. They are a size one. Um, so those I think are like a small, yeah. They're size small. So this is the Good Waist Leather Pull-On Pant. Good American, size small. And this was from a Stitch Fix. So these are new. And I think it's just like, polyurethane or whatever yeah faux leather um and then the lining is viscose and elastane so yeah they kind of have like a the lining is like you know soft and yeah they're they're not real leather but they're very well made good condition and i have not comfies but i'm thinking around 40 dollars since they're new but they're just a skinny um so yeah and this is a good find this is chico's new with tag size three and it is a blazer let me tell you so the price was 149 and then it looks like it went on sale for 69 um i will list this for 16 $64.99 our best offer and I'm assuming I'll get at least 40 but it's great it's like a, it's like a velvet but like a really nice almost like a really kind of cross between like velvet and cotton really nice with those gold buttons and it's like the double breasted um style yeah not really showing it that good but yes very nice and the fact that it's new with tags, I spent $13. So, yeah, the prices, <laughs> yeah, they were, they were up there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I should get at least $40 for that. Maybe a little more. Uh, we're down to our last two items. So, this was a great find. This 
is Anthropology. It's the large, if you look these bags up, there are different sizes, and this is the larger one. And I forget the name of it right now, but if you just Google Anthropology Round um, Sheep Leather Bag, you will see these. This will sell between $50 and $75. It is in pristine condition. Absolutely nothing wrong, but look how much I paid. <laughs> $15, but whatever. <laughs> It has a zip. Let's see. Let's zip this up. Yeah. So very happy with that. That, like I said, $50 to $75. It's in pristine condition. I mean, there's just nothing wrong with it. And this leather is just so soft. It's beautiful. So very boho. Yep. So that was a great find wish it was five instead of 15 but whatever last item i have not looked this up um it was a dollar and this was at the um annual community yard sale so i haven't even read what this says celebrating oh it has the date right there i was thinking it's 70s or 80s okay celebrating october 2nd 1982 and then it has someone's name, and I cannot read the name, so I have no idea, but it's his 80th birthday, and it's um, this, like, kind of baseball cap, obviously vintage, 1982. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it has some discolor, discoloration. <laughs> um, it's official major league baseball it was made in korea um 100 polyester one size fits all made in korea i have to look up this name i don't know if it says roy or ray and then maybe an a and then croy or crocs or i don't know but there's what the front looks like so i will do some research this could be nothing this could be you know a five or ten dollar item if i'm lucky um just to get my money back or maybe it's something that goes for 50. i have no idea it's really going to depend on who this person is so got to do my research i will keep you updated and that's it guys i actually did do a little thrifting before i left for my trip because i had to run in i had to run into goodwill for something um and i just i had like a crazy week at work that last week and i just kind of needed to unwind and um so i may do another like short thrift haul but this was my california thrift haul 78 dollars into minimum 570 not bad. So, you know, that's, I don't remember how much I paid for my ticket because I always use points. Um, and yeah, so that'll pay for something though. So that was fun. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not already subscribed and you feel like my content, um, is either entertaining or educational, um, please subscribe, hit that like button. I'm really trying to grow this channel. I'm still on restriction from thrifting, but I plan to um, continue making at least one video each week. And soon enough, guys, soon enough, cross your fingers. I will get rid of all that old inventory in my garage, get everything um, moving and get all this stuff behind me and in my guest room, um, in the garage, and then I can thrift more often. So my goal is to have an average sale price of $30 and to get out at least 30 items a week, which means I need to be listing at least 30 items a week um, regularly. And so, yeah, I'm going to get back on that and do my scheduled listings through eBay and then just do what I can in terms of cross-posting on List Perfectly 
um, like on the weekends and get stuff over on Poshmark as well. So that's it guys. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.